So I picked out an episode of Parts Unknown where you guys go to Italy. What I found so interesting and curious about it is it's like, let's talk about Mussolini. Let's talk about fascism. Let's talk about spirit of people who are just willing to be like, you and let's focus on music that's about death and all this stuff and i'm like this is so weird but out of everything that you could talk about and all the stories you could talk about why why pick that tony was was pretty brilliant in a lot of ways much of that particular storyline was directly from him before we started filming i remember we were in buenos aires at the time i was still trying to figure out that show plus another one in the edit and we had the shoot with president obama coming up not too far in the future, and he was just going on and on about this Italy show. And I remember being completely overwhelmed. <laughs> Ultimately ended up being a fantastic episode and was really very brilliant and inspired, especially in later years. Always had a very specific idea about a place and where we were going and what story he wanted to tell. Curiosity, was it boredom? Like, was it just this desperate need to not do what's expected like what would have driven this episode after episode story arc after story arc story after story because it's either incredibly energizing and inspiring to never do the same thing ever twice or it's very taxing to never have to do the same thing <laughs> twice and continually to one-up yourself it's all of the above definitely you know and it must have been incredibly taxing for tony too he always had to be interested and stimulated in something and he had a very short attention span so if it was even close to something we'd done before or anyone had done before at least he knew of it was uh, definitely a no-go but he might have had some you know good ideas but the actualization of them was uh was up to the crew and that could be very challenging i part of that italy episode was to shoot the entire thing anamorphically which you know, we could have just done a nice letterbox on our regular cameras and but yeah, anamorphic is the wider aspect ratio. Yeah, two, three, five. So that's that wide screen, not 16 yeah. by nine. Even wider, even wider. Yeah, exactly. So in order to do that, we needed to film with these actual anamorphic lenses and cameras that were huge, these huge, huge cameras. And, you know, we have no scripts. These are all real people interacting with the show. And so one of the ways that we're able to capture stuff normally is with kind of lighter cameras and more mobility. Gosh, with this episode, we had to have these box trucks and all of, you know, huge Italian local crew focus pullers, like to make all this equipment work. And I was just terrified it wasn't going to work out because, I mean, we couldn't even pivot the cameras very easily or quickly, let alone take them anywhere. But miraculously, as things often did, and Rome is just such an amazing city, the magic sort of found its way in, in front of our lens somehow. If you want to hear more behind the scenes stories of what it was like to work with Anthony Bourdain from his longtime friend, producer and director, Tom Vitale, be sure to click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation.